Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion by Alex T. Smith. This is Little Red. Today, she is going to be gobbled up by a lion. This is the lion. Well, that's what he thinks is going to happen anyway. One hot morning, Auntie Rosie woke up covered in spots. There was only one thing for them. Spot medicine. Bring, 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 bring. Oh dear, oh dear, said Little Red when she heard the news. I'll come right away. So she put some spot medicine in her basket and waved goodbye to her daddy. It was a long way to Auntie Rosie's house. Little Red walked under the giraffes, over the sleepy crocodiles, and past the chattering monkeys. She crept around the termite mounds and under the leaping gazelles, then she caught a ride on an elephant, wiggled her way around the hippos and warthogs, and waved hello to the meerkats. Then she sat down in the shade of a shady tree, and that's when the lion arrived, the very hungry lion. Oh, hello, purred the lion. Where are you going? To visit my auntie, who is covered in spots, said Little Red. In the time it took for his tummy to rumble, the very hungry lion had cooked up a very naughty plan. My very clever plan. Number one, sneak off to Auntie Rosie's house. Number two, hide her in a cabinet. Number three, dress up as Auntie Rosie. Number four, wait for a bit. Number five, jump up and eat Little Red. Number six, eat Auntie Rosie for dessert. Well done. You are a very clever lion. And he rushed off to put his plan into action. When he arrived, the very hungry lion stuffed Auntie Rosie in a cabinet and locked the door. Then he squeezed himself into one of her nightgowns and covered himself all over in spots. Of course, when Little Red arrived, she realized right away it wasn't Auntie Rosie sitting in the bed. She quickly looked around and spotted her auntie peeking through a gap in the cabinet. Then Little Red decided that she was going to teach the naughty lion a lesson. Oh, Auntie, cried Little Red, what tangled hair you have. And before the very hungry lion could even lick his lips, Little Red had brushed and combed and twisted and braided until the lion had a lovely new look. This had not been part of the lion's plan. So... He opened his mouth wide. Disgusting, shouted Little Red. What gigantic, grimy teeth you have, Auntie. And Little Red made the very hungry lion brush, brush, brush his teeth until they sparkled. Oh, Auntie, sighed Little Red, what an old nightgown you are wearing. And before the very hungry lion knew it, Little Red had found a much prettier dress for him to wear. This had not been part of the lion's plan either. Stop! yelled the lion. I am a very hungry lion, 
and my tummy is grumbling. Little Red pointed her finger. Well, trying to eat children and aunties is very naughty. If you were hungry, all you had to do was ask for some food. The very hungry lion let Auntie Rosie out of the cabinet and said sorry ever so politely. Little Red gave Auntie Rosie the spot medicine, which worked immediately. Then the three of them gobbled up a whole basket of donuts together. The lion had five. Soon it was beginning to get dark, so the lion walked all the way back home with Little Red on his very best behavior. He promised to never, ever, ever try to eat another auntie or any children. But he might be tempted to eat daddy. No, bad kitty. The end.